All right, so if you're gonna create a stock portfolio spreadsheet, you're of course going to want to measure the performance of each of the individual stocks in your portfolio. The reason I made this video is so that I can cover some of the different columns I've included that allow you to measure the performance of each individual stock. And I just want to go into a little more detail uh, beyond what I've talked about in my Create an Amazing Stock Portfolio Spreadsheet post and video and go into a little more detail, like I said, about those, uh, we'll call them performance formulas. The first one here is pretty straightforward, as most of them are. It's net current value, which is going to include gross current value, okay, which is the current price times the number of shares, G6 times I6 there you can see, plus the dividends received. So that's what the shares are currently worth plus the dividends you've received since you've owned that stock. All right, knowing that, then we can calculate a total gain and loss in dollars. This is simply gonna be net current value minus purchase cost, column L minus column H. This is the total amount of money that you've made owning this stock. Also, like I said, pretty straightforward. Then knowing that, we can look at the total gain and loss expressed as a percentage. This is your total return on this given stock. Total gain and loss as a percentage is simply measured by taking column M divided by column H, which is total gain and loss in dollars divided by purchase cost. So then we come to annualized gain and loss, which is a little more complicated to calculate. Uh, it's something you want to know because, you know, a total gain and loss doesn't tell the entire story. That doesn't tell you about time, okay? Um, for instance, if we look at this DEO here with a 66.9% total gain and loss, that sounds good, but, you know, if we've only gained 66.9% over 20 years, that's not so great. Uh, if we've gained that in one year, or a month or even two years, that's a pretty healthy return. So, you know, we've got to come up with a way to kind of compare apples to apples here. Basically what um, what the yearly return has been on an, each stock. So that way we can really size up how well it's performed. And um, how we do that is with annualized gain and loss, um, often also known as a CAGR, compound annual growth rate. In order for this formula to work, you're going to notice that it references D2, which is your portfolio updated. Now, if you download my spreadsheet, this is automatically going to be updated as of today. If you make it yourself, that might not be the case, but you're going to want this date to be accurate because it's going to reference that. The amount of time that's passed between today and between the purchase date of the stock in order to give you an accurate annualized gain and loss. All right, so like for instance, if we change this to a year ago, uh, you look here, we had a 9% return annualized for DEO. We change that to 4.14.20. Well, it gets much better. Why? Because, uh, you know, the past year isn't taken into account. So anyways, it's important that you make sure that that portfolio updated date is what you want it to be in order to get accurate annualized gain and loss. Okay, so the formula itself, uh, let me also touch on something here. You'll notice I've got some of this gobbledygook at the beginning of the formula, which basically just looks at another cell and determines whether it's blank or not. And if it is blank, it's gonna give me a blank here. And this is just done so that uh, I can keep the spreadsheet looking pretty clean. So the formula to calculate annualized gain and loss is uh, kind of complicated, definitely more complicated than anything else used in this spreadsheet. But uh, if you're not a formula wizard or the type of person who's comfortable with formulas, then just copy it and trust that it works. You can um, compare that. You can go to another website and look for a you know, annualized gain and loss calculator plug in the values and double check it to make sure it works. Um, 
I'm sure the formula is accurate, but I'm just saying if you copied it to your spreadsheet and wanted to be sure, you could do something like that. Uh, what it does in essence is just looks at the return, and it, which is the L6 divided by H6, a net current value uh, divided by purchase cost. It looks at that, and it takes that to the power of a fraction, which the fraction is one over the amount of time, the number of years that have passed. And that's what this year frac does. Year frac returns the number of years, including fractional years, okay, which is good, because then we get a you know an up to the date annualized gain and loss. And it uh, includes fractional years between two dates using a specified day count convention. Anyhow, what we do there is just put in our start and end date. Of course, start date is the date you purchased it. End date is today's date, typically. And then we take all that minus one just so it can be expressed accurately as a percentage. But the formula in whole is in parentheses L6 divided by H6. Then you're going to take that to the power of another parentheses, one divided by this year frac purchase date, comma, portfolio updated date. Close all those parentheses, take it minus one. Okay, and this last parentheses here is just for that if function. Again, it looks for the blank cells. Again, that might be something you want to tackle. That might be something that's beyond the scope of what you care to learn. Fair enough. Uh, just copy it and roll with it. Double check if you like. Or, you know, if you're interested in learning more, you can toy with it, of course. But anyhow, that covers all of our performance formulas. You know what the current value is, what the total gain and loss dollars, total gain and loss percentage, and annualized gain and loss percentage are. That's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. See you.